Uh, Mike, thanks. Yeah, Philly Fed President Patrick Harker becoming the latest official to complain that inflation is still too high, but not saying much else on monetary policy. But hold on, because there are four more Fed speakers uh, speaking directly on the outlook this afternoon and this morning, including Barkin, Goolsby, Kashkari, and Mester. Several themes have emerged in the considerable <clears throat> Fed speak we've had this week. We know that 17 of 19 have forecast at least one cut this year, with the median at three, of course. But these cuts are forecast, not promised, with most saying something like, it's likely appropriate to ease sometime this year. Notice no time there. Cuts are data dependent, with several couching their forecasts with the phrase, if the economy evolves as expected, which for most is confidence in declining inflation. But there is no particular rush we keep hearing, with several saying policy is well positioned for whatever comes next. We have time, some have said. Officials have started to speak a lot about the speed of the decline in inflation as the key to when and how much they reduce rates faster or sooner cuts could be linked to a quicker and deeper decline in inflation or an unexpected weakening of the economy later or slower cuts linked to slower progress on inflation. Note that the Fed does not seem at this time to be particularly concerned about a stronger economy. That, of course, could change. All of this linked inexorably to the jobs report tomorrow, where the Fed is hoping for some slowing, though it's increasingly pointing to immigration as a force boosting the labor force. A number around 100,000 likely start to raise some questions about whether the job market is weakening faster than Fed officials believe. 200K is the consensus, and that would be kind of a Goldilocks number. And then you think about a number north of 275 causing concern. The job market remains too tight and wage inflation remains a threat. The Fed's conditional language and the uncertainty about the economic outlook for jobs, growth and inflation that's why the June rate cut probability is so volatile, now hovering around 63 percent, had been as low as 53. What I'd say is remarkable is this, how little space seems to exist between Trump and the Biden appointees to the Fed governor and between hawks and doves. Mike? 